Welcome to this edition of Prostate Cancer Weekly, where our aim is to help men whose prostate biopsy shows cancer make the right decision that will assure the highest possible quality of life and the best chance of long-term survival. I am not a medical doctor and I'm in no way offering you medical advice. You should consult your doctor before you make any final decision. This week, I want to continue our talk about PSA tests and the factors that can affect the results of your test. I bring this up so you can be aware of these factors and try to be careful for a few days before you have a PSA blood test so that your results are more accurate and consistent. Remember from last week that large prostates produce more PSA. So a rise in PSA means that the gland is enlarging, which can be a sign of cancer, or BPH, or that the prostate is irritated by infection or some other cause. Let's look at some of the other factors that can affect your PSA results. First off, age. Your PSA will normally go up slowly as you age. Even if you have no prostate problems, your PSA will gradually increase as you get older because your prostate is usually going to increase in size. Some medicines may affect PSA levels. Tell your healthcare provider if you are taking Finasteride, Prostar, Propecia, or Avidart. These drugs may falsely lower PSA levels, typically by as much as half of what it would normally be. Be sure to tell your healthcare provider if you are taking other large doses of certain cancer medicines that could also affect your results. At one time, it was thought that salt palmento could give false readings. However, it has recently been shown in a rather large clinical test that salt palmento does not affect PSA test results. Recent sexual activity can also affect your test results. A cysto, which is a procedure where your urologist uses a scope to see the inside of your bladder. And I will just leave it up to you to figure out how he gets it there. Recent use of a catheter can also affect it. Since the digital rectal exam, or DRE, can cause temporary elevation of PSA, the blood is usually collected prior to performing the DRE by your urologist. Prostate manipulation by massage, biopsy, or resection of the prostate will significantly elevate PSA levels. The blood test should be done before surgery or six weeks after manipulation. Rigorous physical activity can also affect the prostate, such as bicycle riding or motorcycle riding or even sitting on hard chairs may cause a temporary rise in PSA levels. A recent study found that in about half of men with a high PSA test result that the values later return to normal. Some authorities recommend that a test that shows a high PSA should be repeated. Somewhere between six weeks and three months after the high PSA test results before taking any further action like a biopsy. Some physicians will prescribe a course of antibiotics if there is evidence that there is some sort of infection of the prostate. Also, it has been recently reported that obesity can reduce serum PSA levels. So be aware that obese men may actually have a higher risk of missing the early detection of prostate cancer. So now that you are aware of these factors that can affect your PSA test results, keep them in mind in the days ahead of your next PSA test and when you analyze your results. Well, thanks again for watching our show. I hope in some way we were able to help you on your journey to making the right treatment decision. If you liked our show, please visit our website at prostatecancerweekly.com and click on the subscribe button so you'll be sure to get our weekly email with the link to our next show. Thanks again and see you next time. In the